Hello everyone and welcome to Church So Blessed. This is our online hunger night. We are so glad that you can once again join us sa atin pong midweek service and we know that God is pleased every time we come together in unity. Kahit po nasa online lang tayo, let's continue with our fellowship. Paano po? Sa comments, wag po tayong mahiya na mag-interact at mag-comment po dyan. At yes, you can also tag your friends na gusto nyo pong makasama na manood nitong Hunger Night natin. And also, para mas marami pong ma-reach ang word ni God at ang message na ito, why don't we share this video sa atin pong mga friends? Share natin, pinatin lang po natin yung share button dyan. Amen! So, let's start na po with our service. Let's pray. Daddy God, we thank you for we can once again come and fellowship with each other. Thank you for this time, Lord, na pwede ka namin i-worship ulit. Panginoon, we pray that as we worship, come and visit us, come and invade our rooms na saan man po kami, Panginoon. Come and invade our hearts, Lord. We pray, God, that as we worship, um, maging pleasing sacrifice po, Panginoon, yung mga worship namin sa iyo, Panginoon. Para po matuwa ka and ma-peace ka, Lord. Lord, we offer this night to you, God. We love you. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, sige po, let's worship God together.
sense, Lord God, if heaven won't come down, Lord, if your kingdom won't rule, Lord God, wherever we are, Lord. So we say with a simple prayer, Lord,
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Lord. We just love you. We just love you. We just honor you. We honor you with our lives. We honor you with songs. We honor you with our worship because you are worthy. You are worthy to be praised, Lord. You deserve it, God. We just love you. We honor you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Praise Team, for leading us in worship and tonight for our announcements. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang ating po mga online worship services. Ang ating hunger night, ito po, ay every Wednesday, 7 p.m. po yan. Um, Nakabro-broadcast po ito sa Facebook page natin at live din po tayo sa YouTube. Um, every Friday naman po, meron din po tayo Healing is yours online. He uses foes para po sa lahat ng gustong gumaling at sa lahat ng gustong ma-equip sa healing ministry. Manood po kayo ng Healing is yours online. Every Friday po yan, 8pm. At every Sunday pa rin po ang ating worship services. 10.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Sa ngayon po, wala pa rin po tayong on-site dahil po sa IATF guidelines. Tayo po ay nasa MECQ pa rin po. So, tuloy-tuloy pa rin po tayong mag-abang ng updates sa CSB Facebook page para po maka- magkaroon tayo ng updates about sa on-site services po natin. Amen! And... Meron din po tayong, ito na, nalalapit na siya, September 4 na po, ang ating CSP Bible School Batch 2021. Ongoing po ang ating registration hanggang August 31 po yan. At kung gusto nyo pong marami pang malaman about sa Bible, <laughs> ayan, sali po tayo sa... CSB Bible School Batch 2021. Paano po mag-register? Mag-message lang po kayo kay Facebook page. At sasagutin po niya kayo kung paano po mag-join. Amen? And gusto rin po namin magpasalamat sa lahat ng patuloy na nagsusupport sa ministry ng Church So Blessed. We want to thank you for partnering with us in furthering God's kingdom here on earth. At We continue to declare God's blessings upon you as you give and as you support us sa ating pong ministry. Thank you po sa inyong lahat! Amen! And so tonight, we continue with our study on the Book of Acts. At it's my honor and my privilege to introduce to you our speaker for tonight. Walaan niyo po kung sino. Joke lang po. <laughs> Wala pong iba kundi ang ating senior pastor, Pastor Hiram Grospe Pangilinan. Amen. Salamat ng marami, Isa. And uh, good evening, everyone. Tonight, we continue with our teachings from the Book of Acts. Sino sa inyo nag enjoy dito sa series na ito? Amen? Ako po nag enjoy I'm telling you, I have done the series on the Book of Acts probably two or three times. Yeah, three times na po, no? Three times. But right now, this is just going deep into the Word. At uh, ang masarap dito, nahihimay natin eh, yung mga kwento na hindi natin na, na nababasa o hindi natin masyadong na, na, napapag-aralan. Right now, we are able to dig deep into the scriptures and 
For tonight, my goodness, this is one of those passages na hindi natin masyado nakikita but it offers us such powerful lessons. So, ready na kayo? Amen? Let's begin. Acts chapter 15, verse 36 down to verse 41. Dito po tayo. Sometime later, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go back and visit the believers in all the towns where we preach the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them, but Paul did not think it wise to take him because he had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not continued with them in the work. They had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. Barnabas took Mark and sailed for Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left commended by the believers to the grace of the Lord. He went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Yun pong sinabi rito, no? they had such a sharp disagreement. Nakakagulat yun. And that is what we're going to talk about when disagreements happen. Isipin ninyo, these two were mighty apostles. We're talking of the Apostle Paul. And the Apostle Barnabas, they were mighty men of God. We would think that they were very spiritual people. And truly, they were spiritual people, very spiritual, love nila si Lord. But they still came to a sharp disagreement. Pwede ba yun? Yun po ang pag-aralan natin ngayon. Let's pray. Lord, marami po salamat that you are the author of the scriptures. At marami pong salamat, hindi ninyo we nightwash itong mga ganitong kwento because you want us to learn our lessons from such stories. So Holy Spirit, I welcome you right now. Anoint me and even my brothers and my sisters as we meditate on your word. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So let's begin. What are the lessons that we can get from this story? Una po kuhanin natin sa verse 36. Sometime later, Paul said to Barnabas, Let us go back and visit the believers in all the towns where we preach the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Naalala ninyo, they did this before. They visited all of the churches that they have established. And from here, I get the first lesson. It is possible to be united in purpose but disagree in the process. Pareho po sila, si Paul, si Barnabas, they wanted to visit the churches. Pareho po sila, they wanted to strengthen the believers. Pareho po sila, they love the work of God. They love the ministry. They love the Lord. Walang problema as far as the purpose is concerned. Tara, Bisitahin natin silang lahat. Kumustahin natin how they are doing. Let us do follow-up. Let us do ministry. Agreed po doon si Paul at si Barnabas. Pero, in the process, they disagreed. So, we can see here that we can be united in purpose. But eventually, in the process, we may disagree. Nangyayari po yun eh. So it is not really good to judge na just because somebody disagrees with us ay hindi ka spiritual. Just because somebody disagrees with our method ay hindi ka kay Lord, ako lang ang kay Lord. It's not that way. It doesn't work that way. Si Paul at si Barnabas pareho po silang kay Lord. And this reminds me of a of a story. Nangyari po ito sa revival ha. Revival. Well, to be more specific, total naman, this is public knowledge, the Brownsville Revival. We all know that the Brownsville Revival touched millions of lives, set on fire so many Christians to fall in love with the Lord. Love na love nila si Lord. I mean, it was just a powerful revival that touched the globe. Marami po ang mga pastor na na-revive dyan. Marami po churches ang na-revive dyan. Maraming denominations ang na-revive dyan. And yet, did you know that in the leadership of Brownsville Revival, nagkaroon po ng split? Yes, we're talking here of the leaders. 
Michael Brown and John Kilpatrick, both of whom were leaders of the Brownsville Revival, they were agreed in purpose. What's the purpose? Revival. To love God. Alam mo yon, To spread the gospel. Advance the kingdom. Agreed in purpose. But they did not agree in the process. Mayroon po na mga detalye na hindi na pagkasunduan. And because of that, there was a sharp disagreement. Nagkaroon ng split. And it happens. Sana wala. But it happens. Well, I'm just so thankful to God because He has been, well, I would say pouring out so much grace upon us that we have been united. Pero ito po ang gusto ko sabihin. Just because somebody disagrees with us, not about the purpose, but about the process, it does not put them in a negative light na, ay, kayo sa demonyo o kayo karnal. Kami spiritual, kami kay Lord. No, Paul and Barnabas, they both love the Lord. Amen? So, malinaw po yun ha. It's possible to be united in purpose but disagree in the process. Um, truth be told, I have been, well, a witness in, in many meetings. Many meetings of, uh, we're talking of some big um, um, body of Christ organizations. And I have seen how people can disagree. And I'm not, I'm not anymore surprised. I'm not anymore shocked. Ako, I take it na, alright, may mga ibang opinion ng mga tao, so we may disagree about that. Alright? So, hindi po masama ang disagreement per se. We can be united in purpose, but disagree in the process. So, let's move to the second lesson. In verse 37, verse 38, ang sabi rito, Barnabas wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them. But Paul did not think it wise to take him because he had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not continued with them in the work. Here I get the second lesson. Differences in personalities, past experiences, or viewpoints can cause disagreements. Ulitin ko yan ha? Differences in personalities, past experiences, or viewpoints. Differences in viewpoints can cause disagreements. Isa-isahin natin yung sinabi ko. Dito po kasi sa kwento, ang sabi, si Barnabas, he wanted to take John, also called Mark, with them. John, also called Mark, by the way, FYI, ito pong John, also called Mark, na ito, he is the one who wrote the Gospel of Mark. <laughs> Siya po yun. So Barnabas wanted to take Mark with them. Pero si Paul, sabi niya, ayokong kasama yan. Ayokong kasama yan. Iniwanan tayo niya sa pamphilia. And because of that, Paul was saying, baka iwanan ulit tayo niyan, hindi yan trustworthy, wag na natin yan isama. So doon nagmula ang pagtatalo. What happened here? There were differences. Look at this. Huh? There were differences in personalities, the past experiences, and the differences in viewpoints. That was what caused, or those were what caused the disagreements. So, let's go by them one by one. Unahin natin, differences in personalities. Sino ba si Barnabas? Alam po natin to. Look at the background. Huh? Who is Barnabas? Acts chapter 4, verse 36. All right. This is what it says. Joseph, a Levite from Cyprus, whom the apostles called Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. Nakita niyo yan? Anong tunay na pangalan ni Barnabas? Joseph. Joseph, he was a Levite from Cyprus. All right. So, Joseph ang tunay niyang pangalan. Pero sumikat siya. Nakilala siya ng lahat siya si Barnabas. Bakit? Because Barnabas means son of encouragement. So everybody in the church actually looked at Joseph as a son of encouragement. Barnabas as a son of encouragement. Yun ang kanyang personality. That is his personality. He is an encourager. So when he saw this John Mark, sabi niya, John Mark, sama natin si John Mark. Sabi ni Paul, ayokong kasama si John Mark. Iniwan tayo niyan sa pamphilia. All the more, isama natin siya because he needs some good company. Para sa ganun, ma-encourage siya 
na siya ay magpursige sa kingdom. Ayoko sa ganyang klaseng tao. Nakikita niyo yung differences dito? The personality of Barnabas was truly an encourager. He wants to uplift those who need uplifting. Si Paul, hindi seryoso siya. Hindi. Ma ma hindi magagawa yung assignment. Si Paul, let me tell you this, si Paul was more of an OC. Siya yung into the details. Siya yung kailangan magawa yung assignment. Siya yung focus na ito yung dapat nating gawin. Yung kay Barnabas, alam ko yun. Yan ang dapat nating gawin. Dapat nating bisitahin ng mga churches. Alam ko na may assignment tayo. But we can bring John Mark along so that we can encourage him. There's a difference here in personality. Now, let me tell you this. Okay? Mukhang nakakalimutan ni Paul that if not for Barnabas, he would not even be a part of the leadership of the church. Totoo ba yan, Pastor? I'll show you. Acts chapter 9, verses 26 to 27. Alright? Uh, sabi rito, when he came to Jerusalem, this is Saul, when, Paul, alright? Si Saul who became Paul. When Paul or Saul came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples. He tried, highlight that word. He tried to join the disciples, but they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. Nagdududa ang mga Christians sa Jerusalem dito kay Saul because you remember he was instrumental in the killing of Stephen. So nobody wanted to do anything, anything to do with Saul. But listen, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his journey had seen the Lord and that the Lord had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Sino ang naglapit kay Saul, also known as Paul, sa leadership ng church? Si Barnabas. Sino ang nagtiwala sa kanya while everybody was suspecting him? Si Barnabas. Do you see the consistency here in Barnabas? Barnabas wanted to encourage people. He is the son of encouragement. So kung paano in-encourage niya dati si Saul o si Paul, ngayon gusto rin niyang i-encourage si, si John Mark. Yun nga lang, Paul, he had a different personality. Apparently, he forgot he was a beneficiary of the son of encouragement. And Barnabas merely wanted to encourage John Mark in the same way that he encouraged Paul. So, nakukuha ninyo, ang difference of personality came into play. Barnabas was an encourager. Si Paul, he was more focused on the assignment. Let's move on. Bakit pa sila nagkaroon ng disagreement? Experience. Experience. What about experience? Sabi ko nga sa inyo, differences in personalities, past experiences. Alright, ano naman yung experience? Ito na nga po, yung Acts chapter 13, verse 13. Kung saan ang sabi rito, From Paphos, Paul and his companions sailed to Perga in Pamphylia where John left them to return to Jerusalem. Iniwanan sila nitong si John. Pastor, kala ko si John. Yes, also called Mark. Siya po yung Acts chapter 12, 12 na John Mark, like what I told you. So, ano experience dito? Tingnan ninyo. Ah, si... Saul, also called Paul, naalala niya yung karanasan na yun. Iniwanan tayo niyan si Mark. Huwag natin isama yan. Iniwanan tayo niyan, baka iwanan tayo uli. Pero si Barnabas, hindi, isama pa rin natin maski iniwanan tayo. <laughs> Do you see this? Yung experience nila, the same. The same. But they took it in different ways. Kay Barnabas, let go na. Tuloy na tayo. Kay Paul, hindi. Merong kagat sa akin yung nangyaring yun. People, my personal bias is this. Kumampi po ako rito kay Barnabas. Because I see him as more of my personality. Na, okay, sige, 
may atraso si John Mark, but let's move on. Pero ito po si Paul, hindi. Uh, uulitin niya yan. Alright? Nakakuha ninyo? So, yung past experiences nila, although they were the same experience, although they were the same experience, they took it in different ways. Pangatlo, let's move on. The third one is this. So, differences in personalities, past experiences, and difference in viewpoints. Ano naman yung viewpoint? Ito po yan. Ang viewpoint ni Bernabas, hindi magiging hadlang si John Mark. Ang viewpoint ni Paul, magiging hadlang yan. <laughs> And because of those viewpoints, they parted ways. Now, I want to say something here. Nangyari na po ito maraming ulit sa church history, which is probably why this will explain why there are so many denominations. <laughs> May nagtatanong sa akin, Pastor, ba't ang dami-daming denomination? Ba't ang dami-daming grupo? Ba't ang dami-daming churches? Totoo po yan. And one of the reasons is because of differences in viewpoints. Alam po ba ninyo, case lang ito in history, the two greatest revivalists during the Great Awakening, you can research this if you want, During the Great Awakening po ito, so this would be in the 1700s, 1730s, mga ganyan. The Great Awakening figureheads would be John Wesley, George Whitfield. Sa Amerika, nandiyan si Jonathan Edwards, alright? Pero ito po si John Wesley at si George Whitfield, did you know, they were best friends, best buddies. Magkasama sila sa Oxford, nung nagsisimula pa lang sila bilang mga studyante. And then both of them became preachers. And when they became preachers, pareho sila mightily used of God. Yun nga lang ito na po yun. Viewpoint na pinag-uusapan natin na si John Wesley was of the Arminian persuasion. Arminian. Si George Whitfield was of the Calvinist persuasion. These are doctrinal things, alright? Now, listen up. Pareho silang naniniwala sa revival. Pareho silang nag-move sa Science and Wonders. Pareho silang nagpapanalo ng libo-libong mga tao. But because George Whitfield was Calvinist and John Wesley was Armenian, the two of them actually argued na wala yung baga best friends. Na para ako, sige, bahala ka. You go your way, I go my way. Because of differences in viewpoints. And it has been happening in the church. Ay, magkaiba tayo ng pananaw. Ikaw, mer ano ka, pre-trib ka. Ako, mid-trib. Ako, post-trib. Magkaiba tayo. Ayaw ko sa'yo, magkahiwalay tayo. Ay, ikaw may rapture. Ako, walang rapture. Alam mo yun, nagkakahiwalay. Ito nga ngayon eh, nakakalungkot eh. Meron halimbawa na ikaw, may bakuna. Ako, walang bakuna. Magkaiba ng viewpoint. Nagkaiba ng viewpoint. And so what happens? Maghiwalay na tayo. That is not how it works. We can have differences in our opinion. We can have different viewpoints. But we can still agree to be one body of Christ. Amen? Let's move on. Andan tayo. Masyadong timely itong message na ito. No? Let's move on. Number three. All right. Verse 39. So, They had such a sharp disagreement. Grabe po yung word na yun, ha? sharp disagreement. Hindi lang basta disagreement to. They had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company. They parted company. And this is the third lesson. Sometimes it is best to agree to disagree and let God teach the lesson. O sige, mukhang hindi tayo magkakasundo tungkol dito kay John Mark. Sipin niyo tungkol kay John Mark. Hindi tayo magkakasundo tungkol kay John Mark. Maghiwalay na lang tayo. Let's agree to disagree. You go your way, I go my way. But see, there are occasions wherein it just has to happen and you pray to God, God, um, maybe He has a point, maybe I have a point, but Lord, I just leave it up to you. You be the one to teach the lesson. Kaya naghiwalay sila. At we just believe, God, sabi ninyo, you will work all things together for good to those who love you and who are called according to your purpose. So ano nangyari dito? Sige, 
Barnabas, sabi ni Barnabas, John Mark, halika isasama kita. And I, I really wonder how John Mark must have felt yung dalawang mighty men of God na giwalay dahil sa kanya. And uh, si Paul, he took Silas with him. Alright? He took Silas with him. Ang sabi rito, Barnabas took Mark and sailed for Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left, commended by the believers to the grace of the Lord. So, what happened? Iaasa na lang natin, Lord, you can work things out. You will teach us your lesson. I believe I'm correct. Paul also believes he's correct. Pero Lord, teach us the lesson here. I'll give you an insight into the future what happened. Look at this. 2 Timothy 4.11 Oh my goodness, you will love this. 2 Timothy 4.11 Now mind you, Paul wrote 2 Timothy inside a Roman prison. And Paul wrote 2 Timothy knowing he was about to be killed. Papatay na siya. Sentensyado na siya. This is where he, he said the word that I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now, my life is being poured out as an offering to the Lord. Alam niya. Papatay na siya. There is in store for me a crown of righteousness. Alam na ni Paul. But what does he write in the last verses of his life? 2 Timothy 4.11 this is what he says. Only Luke is with me. Now, Paul is writing to Timothy here, okay? And then he says, only Luke is with me. Get Mark. Sino? Mark. Get Mark. Bring him with you, Timothy. Timothy, get Mark. Bring him with you. Why? Because he is helpful to me in my ministry. This gives me goosebumps, people. Paul, in his dying days, alam niya malapit na siyang patayin. Sinong wini-wish niya? Sinong dinidesire niya to be with him? He says, Timothy, get Mark. Sino? Mark. Sabi siguro ni Timothy, si Mark? Bakit si Mark? Bring him with you because he is helpful to me in my ministry. So what's the lesson that God taught Paul? God taught Paul, Mark is helpful. I believe Paul, in his heart, he repented. I should not have judged John Mark that way. Magiging helpful pala siya. Matter of fact, so helpful, eventually he wrote the Gospel of Mark. Diba? Krabi si Lord, ano? Sometimes there are people who we fail have failed us. Who we feel have failed us. Na pinal, pinalpak ako niyan, o binetray ako niyan, o, o iniwan ako niyan. But you know what? If God will move in their lives and teach them the lessons, they will find out, we will find out, okay naman pala. Let's move on. Number four lesson. It says here, so Barnabas took Mark, sailed for Cyprus, but Paul chose Silas and left, commended by the believers to the grace of the Lord. Verse 41, he went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Number four lesson, when disagreements happen, is this. Differences in opinions must never involve a lingering bitterness. Hindi porke nagkaiba na tayo ng opinion at hindi porke tayo ay magkaiba ng pananaw at naghiwalay na. Naghiwalay eh. It says here, Barnabas took Mark, sailed for Cyprus. Ito namang si Paul and Silas, they went through Syria and Cilicia. Naghiwalay na eh. Hindi po porke nagkahiwalay na ay magkaaway na. And we need to understand this. Also in the context of the body of Christ, hindi porke na kayo, eh, wala na, humiwalay na yan. Kalaban yan. Wala pong magkakalaban sa body of Christ. Wala na magkakaaway. We need to be reminded 
Our fight is not against flesh and blood. Amen? So, humiwalay na eh. It does not make a difference. They are still part of the family. Differences in opinions must never involve a lingering bitterness. So, I suppose, pagka nagkita uli itong si Paul at si Barnabas, Barney! <laughs> oh, Paul! And let bygones be bygones. Why? Because Jesus has showed us the example. We need to be able to forgive 70 times 7. Amen? Now, uh, going back to the story, naalala niyo yung sinabi ko, si George Whitfield, Calvinist, si John Wesley, Armenian. By the way, ako po, Armenian in persuasion. I love John Wesley. And uh, they parted ways. Revival yan, ha? Great awakening. We're talking of people falling under the power of God while preaching, the two of them. Si George Whitfield nga po ang nagturo pala kay John Wesley about the yung field preaching, yung sa bukid, nangangaral. Una, sinabi pa ni John Wesley, George, hindi tama yan. <laughs> Pagkatapos, eventually siya rin gumawa. Pagkatapos, nung mga tao nagbabagsakan sa ministry ni John Wesley, ganun din ang nangyayari kay George Whitfield. Both revivalists. Both moving in the power of the Holy Spirit and yet they parted ways because of differences in viewpoints or doctrine. Pero alam ba ninyo, ito ang isang nakakatuwang bagay. George Whitfield, when he was about to die, he had a dying wish. Ang gusto ko ang magsisermon sa aking funeral ay si John Wesley. And John Wesley was told about it. Pinuntahan siya ng mga followers ni George Whitfield at sabi ay si Whitfield wanted him to be the one to preach in his funeral. John Wesley readily came. No namatay po si George Whitfield, he was the one who ministered in the funeral of his friend. I love that story. I love that story because it shows us we can actually rise above our differences. Hindi yung ayoko ng taong yan, magkaiba kami ng opinion. O ayoko ng taong yan, sinaktan niya ako dati. O ayoko ng taong yan, magkaiba kami, sanguine ako, melancholic yan. <laughs> Hindi ganun. Kinakailangan tayong lahat we can rise above our disagreements. I love this story because we see here even the Apostle Paul, as great as he was, as powerful as the revelations of God have been to him, bumaba pa rin siya to that realization, I need Mark. He's been helpful to me. And you know what? If people just think about it, Every part, every segment of the body of Christ, the brothers and the sisters, those in the different fellowships, and those in the different denominations, we are still part of one body. So the disagreements, yes, they may happen, but it is still the love of the Lord that will unite us all. Pagka nawala na mga titles, nawala na mga brandings na yan, the ultimate is this. We're one body in Jesus. Amen? You learned something today? Ito po ngayon ang application. Meron ka bang ka-disagree? Kasi kung mayroon kang ka-disagree, why don't you reach out to that person? Magpakumbaba. Ilang beses ba yan, Pastor? Pagod na ako magpakumbaba. Nakakapagod po ba? <laughs> well, let me tell you this. Not by human might, not by human power, but by His Spirit. Let's continue to declare that we are one body in Jesus. Amen? Let's pray. Panginoon, marami pong salamat for the lessons that we learned tonight. Marami pong salamat that we see it happens. Disagreements happen. Pero Lord, Huwag niyo kaming hayaan na manatili lang doon sa level ng disagreement. Iangat ninyo kami 
to the level of understanding that we will eventually understand and just live according to the revelation that has been revealed to us that you are the God of reconciliation, that you are the God of forgiveness, that you are the God of unity. Lord, maipamuhay po namin ito. Marami po salamat. And Lord, right now, I just pray for all my brothers and my sisters who may be going through these lessons, Lord, itong mga natutunan namin ngayon. I just declare grace upon you. Receive it right now. Grace upon you. If you're going through some sharp disagreement, the grace of the Lord that will enable you to rise above it and be a person of forgiveness, be a person of love, and be a person of humility. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, I also declare the oil of Holy Spirit, the healing oil of the Holy Spirit to just mend the wounds. Meron po sa atin sugatan sa puso. Hurt na ako, Pastor. Marami ng hurts. I just declare right now, the healing oil of Holy Spirit is mending your heart in the name of Jesus and also reaching out to those people that may have offended you or hurt you in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I declare humility, I declare forgiveness, and I declare love in the name of Jesus. Salamat po. Salamat. Just receive it right now. Just receive it right now. And say, Lord, I receive your healing oil upon my heart. And even upon your memory, Lord, I receive your healing oil upon my memory in the name of Jesus. That even though I remember the pains, I remember the wounds, the hurt won't be as much. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. Well, people, that's our lesson for tonight. Now, before I conclude, meron sa inyo na nanonood na sabi nyo, imposible yata yung pastor, yung nag-disagree, tapos magkakabate, magkakasundo. Posible po yan. Lalo na kung si Jesus ang nasa puso ninyo. And so right now, I want to issue that invitation. Kung gusto ninyo, si Jesus ay tulungan kayo. Surrender your life to Him. Why don't you say this with me? Lord Jesus, Yes, follow after me. Lord Jesus, I surrender to you. I open up my heart and I ask you, be my Lord, be my Savior. I repent of all my sins. I surrender to your Lordship. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen. If you pray that prayer with me, Jesus is now in your heart. He will help you out. He will help you to forgive. He will help you to love. Well, people, that's it for tonight. God bless you. I'll see you again Friday. Healing is yours online. And I'll see you Sunday, 10.30 a.m. and or 5 p.m. Facebook or YouTube. God bless you.